okay guys uh, we have uh, the iphone 15 pro max that is connected uh, using a cable this has been recently upgraded to the ios 26 here's a cable and uh, this is the jazz's infotainment unit and uh, there are a few subtle changes you can see the liquid glass uh, display towards the side which looks uh, pretty cool and uh, there are a few changes to the settings as well uh, nothing major in driving focus it continues to be the same nothing in announce messages too when it comes to appearance it's the same however you now have customized icons where you can have uh, dark clear and uh, you can enable that or you can choose to go with the default one as well i prefer the default one and you now have uh, a bit more accessibility settings here with the uh, text size which will permit you to have a larger uh, text size and that's as far as uh, the settings changes are concerned and you now have widgets if you scroll to the left you now have various widgets that you can add up to five from your carplay settings if you go to your settings here there's this carplay select the car and you can have widgets here we've added uh, five widgets but uh, youtube is quite pointless because apple has not enabled anything for youtube yet you can also add widgets based on whatever is uh, available you can add uh, spotify select add widget it'll come up here these are some of the widgets which are already available so you have these five widgets which you can see here scroll up this is uh, in shots this is youtube again pointless you have the weather now on cars with uh, larger displays you can stack up to three or four widgets side by side and that looks pretty cool so there's one more change if somebody calls you while you are driving you get a very subtle notification at the bottom of the display than the entire screen just filling up like this and the same applies when you are answering the call you get that notification at the bottom like this like a small pill or an extended pill if you want to call that instead of the whole screen just filling up so these are some of the subtle changes that uh, iOS 26 brings to CarPlay. Unfortunately, they have not yet enabled YouTube. So if even if you press this, you're not going to get anything. So this is a pointless widget for now.